good morning. 7.59 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, October 1st, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So, as we can see with XRP here this morning, we've got XRP up 2.83%. The biggest issue we have right now is we're kind of within no man's land. And what I mean by that is if you look at the XRP USD chart, we did fall below the cup and handle, or uh, below the rising channel at 63.93, we were unable to hold. Last night we speculated that if we continued to fall down, we'd come down to that 59.96. But we had a chance still, as we talked about how when it came down here, there'd be one more liquidation event before it came all the way down if that was the plan. We came up to 63.50 overnight. Failed to get back above 63.93, which would put you back on top of the rising channel area, which we're trying to make a support so that we could open up the door to 88.5 cents. As you can see, that 59.9 cents, the area of support we very well could fall down to here. We've got, mm, what is this, 59.96, but that's on the falling channel or I mean on the um, cup and handle and the falling channel resistance that's now support at 59.96. That resistance at 63.93 is big because that's the rising channel. If we can get on top of that, we'd be able to open up the door to a move likely to 88 cents. And then if we look at the most current, we held 62.9 cents. Right now that candle in the daily is a bearish candle. That's a bearish candle. If it And we've got 12 hours left, I fear that it's going to roll right back over. So if you see a breach of 62 cents, know that we're more than likely going to 59.9. That candle right there, though, is a gravestone doji. That's a, typically that could be used as a fake out, and then it ends up rolling back over. So we have to be very, very cautious of that candle right there. That's actually a bearish doji candle. That's a gravestone doji at that. So we're going to have to be very, very aware and very, very cautious and uh, the moment it breaks down, if it does, if we come below 62 cents, it's a huge problem. Because then that little M topping reversal, and now it's at 618. So we've got 61.8 cents. And then below that, we've got 59.9 if we were to break down. And this is a major, major pattern that's been intact since 2023 in around July. So this pattern does take a little precedent here. And if we could break out of this, the technical target of this particular consolidation um, is all the way up at 95.8 cents. This actually pulls back here. You can actually come all the way back into here to start this from the resistance, but I didn't. I did the support down here from August of 23. So that's what it looks like. And then if we could hold this and we could actually break out, we'd be looking at a move all the way up to 95.8 cents potentially. We know that rising channel is up at 88 cents. So those are the areas that we would have to look at here. So that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm paying attention to. And that's the way I'm going to start to look at these charts. So I don't even remember if I did an intro this morning. Have no idea if I did an intro this morning. So I'm just going to do a timestamp. If I did it twice, so be it. Good morning. 8.02 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, October 1st, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire. And I reside in the great state of Michigan. As I started out just going into the charts, for some reason, I think I forgot to timestamp it. This update will only be about 10 minutes. I got to get my son to school. We got to leave here in about 17 minutes. So I want to have everything updated. As you know, today I'm going to Grand Rapids. My son's got his uh, medical thing tomorrow. They changed the balloon out on his NG tube for the first time. So I'll be out there for two nights. Going out there today at about 12, 15, we'll leave my house. I'll do a short later this morning after I'm done at the gym. And then uh, you won't get an update until sometime tonight. I don't know what kind of update, but it'll be an update of sorts. We won't have a live tonight or tomorrow night. I still plan on doing one Thursday when we get back home after the three and a half hour drive. We should be back home by like two, three o'clock. Probably no, probably three or four o'clock on Thursday. So that's going to be my next two and a half days. So uh, just bear with me with no lives tonight, no lives Wednesday night. Thursday night, I plan on doing a live. Um, tomorrow, I'll still do an update in the morning. We'll still do a short and such. But there won't be a lot of content only because I'll be out at Grand Rapids doing some medical stuff. So, um, 
just uh, look for the best for my son. But he's doing very well, so I'm not worried about it. This is standard operating procedure. They'll draw a little blood just to make sure where his numbers are at since he started with his feedings and yada, yada, yada. And uh, it's nothing, nothing major like when we went up there a few months ago. So, But that's what's going on, and I want to make sure to keep everybody in the loop. And with XRP, I mean, there's no better way that I can put it than what I've done this morning. Bitcoin's up $439 to 63747 the big problem here is, though, is we stayed below 64499 by a lot. By a lot. So Bitcoin's still in this megaphone pattern. But we're on the bearish side of town now. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this because we knew that was going to fall down. But it happened to come below 64499 So now if that, just like with XRP, if that's used as the resistance, we got a much bigger drop that's going to happen here. And I'm not saying it's coming all the way to 47000 But if you get rejected here... You could see 60, 61,000 very shortly here. So that's what we have to pay attention with Bitcoin. And then one more time with XRP because I'm going to have to release this. 62.9 cents right now. If we just look, the, the lowest support here is this breakout of the 2018 resistance that's been acting as support. If we were to ultimately collapse, 52.24 is down below. But we've got a lot in between. Mainly what we're looking at is a 61.89 cents. If we do come back down here and we can at least bounce, it would be a still a bullish thesis. We bounce off of it already and we have this little W formation. So there's no guarantee we have to fall back down. It's just where we're sitting right now, we have to get hot still and start pushing up. Like we still need some upward momentum. We're going to end up falling down here to about 62, 63 to see if we can hold the 20 day on the recrossing here. But if you do see it fall through today, be very, very cautious. Be very, very cautious because the daily time frame, as I stated, the daily time frame, as of right now, that's a bearish candle. I know we're up at the top, but we still have 11 hours and 53 minutes left in this candle. And uh, that's a long time for it to pull back down if it wants to. So we need to just make sure that this closes at the top side of this candle. Otherwise, I could very well see this playing out as a fake out. I'd prefer it just to, to rally up now. Four hourly, we can see it at least held midway, but it's a wick pullback. So we'll see if there's further downside here on this uh, Tuesday morning on the first day of October. As we had the monthly candle close for XRP, and it wasn't a terrible candle. We actually closed over where I wanted to. So we'll see if this can perpetrate something in the months going forward and how far we can... Uh, push ourselves out here we've got many different ways many different ways that this can happen and then real quickly 1 billion xrp was unlocked by ripple the xrp price reacts with three percent growth ripple the san francisco based crypto payment provider has released another 1 billion xrp tokens from its escrow accounts according to a whale alert as rail alert report as usual ripple released the xrp tokens on october 1st which is its standard practice for the first day of each month the release of the 1 billion tokens was done in three separate transactions. The first one released 500 million XRP tokens worth about 310.65 million from Ripple's escrow holdings. Next, another 400 million XRP with an estimated value of 248.89 million were released. The last transaction saw the last 100 million tokens valued at 62.25 million released from escrow. Ripple rolled out its escrow system at the end of 2017 with the goal of stabilizing the XRP market. And remember, even though they unlocked 1 billion, about 800 million religiously every single month gets locked back up and they get locked up until December of 2027. They said April 2027, the release is expected. That's not correct. It's December of 2027, but whatever. At least they said 27. Ripple rolled out its escrow system at the end of 2017 with the goal of stabilizing the XRP market. The company set aside 55 billion XRP in a series of escrows, each one with 1 billion. XRP to be released gradually over the same number of months. Based on the current plan, the last portion of the release is expected to happen in April 27, but they said December of 27. So I'll, I'll stick with what Ripple said. Um, so the price house look in response to this, the price of the XRP token shot up by about 3% in just a couple of hours. As a result, the price bounced back above a crucial dynamic resistance level that stretches from 2023 XRP to USD by coin market cap. In a surprising turn of events, the week before the unlocking saw the best performance for XRP in a few months, with a surge of 9.21% at one point. Um, XRP is trading around 62.74 cents per token, marking its highest price since the end of July. This is common rhetoric, though. 
XRP a lot of times will bounce up, start pulling back down just within the rally zone. So we'll see does XRP come all the way back down to 59.9? Can it hold 61.8? Can we just continue pushing up and retake 63.8 cents today? If so, we can invalidate a further thesis to the downside. We're still very bullish though within the short term. So don't even let the short term micro movements outweigh your macro view. So make sure to hit that like button before you leave. Share this on social media if you're looking to trade XRP worldwide. Those BitUnix and Hotcoin both are spectacular with spot trading, lowest spot and leverage trading fees that I've found. No KYC and VPN. Um, BitUnix, you have a little more uh, on the flexibility with leverage trading. Hotcoin's a little bit varied, but there's a lot more token pairs, so you have to deal with it as it is. Have a blessed morning, everybody. Gotta go.